Welcome back to Small Caps, ladies and gentlemen. This afternoon, or today, I should say, we're going to be talking with Jeff Goldsmith. He's the CEO of Asset Al. The ASX code is A01. And some of you are sitting there thinking, but hang on a minute, it says Percy behind him. What the heck? Percy's the product, Asset Al's the company. And we're going to talk about what they're doing right now and what plans they have for 2022 as we go forward. Jeff, great to see you. Thank you so much for joining me on Small Caps today. Thanks for the introduction, Kerry. Well, let's start with the fact that the company is called Asset Al, but the product you and I can talk about today is the one behind you, Percy. Yep. So, yeah, the company's been around for a while. Percy uh, and, and the current business model, if you like, is, has been around for three years. And it's about inspection tools supporting the property industry. So um, we support real estate agents and their property managers by providing a platform that they can do property inspections on. And the name of the platform is Percy. We used to be Inspector 360. We renamed uh, last year in September. Why did we do that? If you look at our competition, the names sound the same. There's our name, Inspector 360. There's Property Inspection Manager. There's Inspection Manager. There's Rent Find Inspector. All very much the same. So firstly, we wanted something different, and we think we've, we've met that tick. Um, secondly, something that property managers will identify. You know, they have a pretty tough life. They're, they're caught between court cases, angry tenants, angry owners, you know, um, principals of the business that want them to do more. Right. And they need to know someone's in their corner. Oh, we've got Percy. And, and finally, it's a play on the name. So P-I-R-S-E-E, Property Inspection Report, C. And you can uh-huh. see from the logo. Yeah, the logo. Now I can remember it really well. Property Inspection Report, C. C, that's right. So, um, and, and the logo, again, it's a bit of fun if you, you can't see it very closely, but depending on how you look at it, you can see a parrot or you can see a, a child in a pram or someone holding a camera. So it's a good talking point and um, it sets us apart. And that's what we Comment, want. Comments down below, ladies and gentlemen, what do you see? Do you see a little baby in a pram or do you see, what, what was the other one? A parrot. A, a parrot. parrot. Or someone taking a think? photo. Or someone taking a photo or something else. We should have a prize for it. We should. If you give me something really creative, Kim, I'll, I'll give you a prize. How about that? There you go. We don't know what the prize is, ladies and gentlemen, but put It'll your be a comments or below. It'll be a or what, what do you see in the logo? That's that's a bit of fun. But more on the the company side of things. Yes. And the you know, you're listed on the ASX. It's quite a low share price at the moment. Talk yep. to me about the business itself and how is Percy seen in the marketplace? Where's the growth? and the investment case, I guess, for coming on board to Asset Al as shareholders. Yep. So let's start with the service. It, it, it is a non-discretionary service. You have to do property inspections um, if you're renting out a property. Yeah. And those inspections have to conform with government legislation. And you're allowed to do entry inspections, you're allowed to do routine inspections during the tenancy, and then you do exit inspections where you compare the property, property condition before and after to determine whether... Um, whether the tenant gets their bonds back. So you need a tool to do that. In the old days, it was paper-based, very inefficient. Now we have photos, we can improve uh, the efficiency, we can improve the quality of of the inspection. And in the long term, that benefits all parties because you're going to have less court disputes over bonds. So so that's what we do. Now, when the company, before my time, pivoted, I hate to use that term, or changed tack into this industry, they... They firstly looked at, well, what tools are out there? What, how, is, how is the industry supported? And can we leverage this great technology that our company had built previously around 3D imagery um, and, right. and, and cloud-based platforms? And the feeling was the trust tools are well catered for. That's, yeah, that does the back office accounting. Maintenance tools, there's a lot of them, they do, they do a good job. But we felt that, firstly, inspections are really pivotal uh, because, yeah, they take up so much time. So yeah. we can deliver benefit there, you know, we've got a viable product. Um, And secondly, we didn't think they were that well serviced by our our competitors. Now, we've got a lot of respect for our competitors that have been there for a long time Um, and, you know, full credit to them. But what we're trying to do is, you know, a different take on technology, different approach. Um, We're integrated with a 3D camera. That really stands us apart. You know, we we sync. You know, we've got live sync, so you can have more than one property manager working on property at the same time. So we've got that sort of technology background, thanks to our founder, you know, ex-Google employee. Um, and that's what we're trying to do. So for your listeners, there are, you know, estimates around 12 
thousand real estate agents out there across Australia. Oh we, wow, really? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, you know, and we when we did our last, uh, you know, as we discussed, when we did our last raise in April, yeah, you know, we had two or three customers literally. We've now got forty on our books. You know, uh, roughly a quarter a pain. The others are on trial, and you know, so we've learned a lot in the last six months. We've demonstrated that we've got a viable product, but we've got a lot of feedback to to put back into the product. And that's what we're, we're busy doing now. So. Yeah, there is in the short term on just this application, property inspections, we think there's a real runway. So, you know, we're, we're, we're COVID still in the background. So we're focusing on WA when things settle down and borders open. We are in Victoria, but we'll start marketing more. We'll be more active in marketing in Victoria. And then we'll build out our New South Wales, Queensland and South Australian versions of the product, which, you know, which takes time to do. The process is very similar, but each state, as you know, being in WA, we can't get yeah, the gauge of railways, right, let alone property inspections. It takes time. <laughs> it takes time. It's so true, isn't it? It's everything's no. different. It's like, seriously, we're one country. No, we're not. Yeah, you would Everything's know. different. Well, especially here in WA, right? Yeah, well, you're behind the Iron Curtain. The, the, the North Korea, lasts. the North Korea of the Australian <laughs> yeah, The North Korea of Australia, I love it. <laughs> but it, it, you, you've talked about the, there is growth in WA. So COVID hasn't stopped you because actually what you've been able to do is demonstrate the product works in WA. Yep. And that will allow you to, to for the have growth. a better product have, when we go over yeah, that's right. Yeah. What, how quickly can you a, a change and update the product? Because it's a software-based service, I guess, is it? That's right. That's correct. So software as a service, um, it's a monthly subscription, monthly pricing model. Um, and we're comfortable with that because we don't want to lock people in. We think we'll have a good enough product to stand by people that want, don't want to leave. Okay. Um, once, once they're on and they start, you know, start paying, their inspections are on our, our platform. The data is, is the owner's data. They own it, the real estate agents, but there's a time-consuming process to get in that mm -hmm. data and then inputting it onto a new tool. So it becomes quite sticky unless, you know, you solve the solve the dilemma of how to migrate data over. Um, and and we're, we're very close to doing that now. Um, so, yeah, sticky customer base. Um, and, you know, we will invest in, in, a, in a sales manager or sales resource on the East Coast. Um, and, you know, it's a matter of doing the hard yards, knocking on doors, investing in marketing, raising the brand awareness. You know, we're at the start of that journey. Um, our product will only get better. You know, there are areas that we want to improve. We're a small team. It does take time because we're a small team. We don't have a lot of resources. Um, and it's a matter of you know, working hard, working as hard as we can. Um, and we, we think we'll be in, you know, we'll start moving to Queensland and New South Wales around the middle of the year is, is our plan. So you you raised about a million dollars last time. There was a one and a half, yep, one and a half. One, one and a half, one and a half. Yeah. What was the, where was the, where were those funds predominantly used? Oh, was that? In the software Rough, development? Roughly, yeah, yeah, so roughly half of that is on, on salaries of our engineering team. And we've got right. a small offshore team that, that supports operations. And then, you know, we're a small company, listing rules, audits, yep. um, you know, obviously costs from raising raising the, the 1.5 million. It, it, we don't spend a lot of money, but it doesn't go far. So, you know, we, we do what we can. And it's a very competitive market, obviously, for engineers. Um, we've got a really good team and we... You know, we, we plan on keeping hold of those, but we do need to expand that team in order to roll out and get where we want to get. So it's a gradual process. Success breeds success. We you know, I, I believe you've got to demonstrate to the market that you, 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 you manage investors' money well. You know, Absolutely. That you, you know, yep. that, that you, you, you use it tightly and you've got, to demonstrate, you've got to earn the right to go back to the market to raise money for the next stage of your journey. And we think we've Correct. done that last year. And this year, you know, we'll, 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 we're in the middle of raising now, as, as no doubt you, your listeners will know. Um, and that's about, you know, we've now de-risked the product to a large extent. It's about the next stage of the journey, uh, taking it to the East Coast and starting to roll out in the East Coast. And, you know, people will hopefully see that, they're, okay, they're going to start getting traction in Queensland, New South Wales and Victoria and then South Australia. Which is interesting, but what I want to know is uh, you talk about de-risking the project. That's yep. interesting. Yep. But is there a barrier to entry? In other words, what if I set up CEPA? Um, I'm just yeah, yeah, yeah. being facetious so, here and saying, well, why can't anyone do what you guys do? Or is it is there being so a bit we've, of knowledge? We've, yeah. The, there's a lot of money that's been spent on this product, and it's not just the last three years. It was you know, leveraging 
this enterprise level solution. We've got you know, ISO accreditation, which is data security no one else has had because of our previous history. Um, yeah, integrating with, with the iOS system and the Android system, this all takes time, it takes resources. Um, and and yeah, there are barriers to entry which people can overcome, but you need money to do that. You yep. need millions to do that and you need time. And some of the bigger players in trust are, are, are trying to do that, but their attention is, is spread quite thin because they've got you know, the trust side of it and the maintenance side of it. And so what we find is that the one size fits all is fine with a single platform, but you, know, you don't get the, the same sort of service and support on inspections that we provide and, and our competitors provide as well. So you know, the question then for investors, well, okay, it's in one sense, it's a bit of a niche capability. How important is it? Well, it underpins the tenancy agreements that owners and investors and tenants have. Um, and you have to do it because it's legislated. So, you know, it's a non-discretionary service. It's a cornerstone of what, what they do. And there's the industry is ripe for productivity enhancements through this tool. So yeah, I agree. You know, we've, we've, we've talked about there's a wide range of agencies and it doesn't matter if you've got, I'm not going to name a big franchise, but you might have a big franchise name, but you still run your own show as an individual office. And, and the, the differences in practice and how they approach things and how they approach inspections and how they keep their data and how they do inspections, it, it's, it's all different. And we really think that we can help them in, in an important part of their business and give the property managers more time to their day to do the important things like talking to owners, uh, talking to tenants, making sure they're serviced um, and, and looking after the property rather than doing inspections. And, and if you do that, well, you don't end up in court. So that's we're providing a better experience for tenants, owners, uh, property managers themselves, and of course, the owners of the, of the agencies as well. It's, it's interesting what you say about some of the big franchises, because some of these guys, now I won't mention any names either, but they're big and they're Australia-wide. Yes. So does that make it easier for Acidow to go in and say XYZ company that might have, you know, a, a senior level executives over in WA, we want to send this um, nationally around Australia? It, it doesn't because... Tip, I'm generalising. Yep. So, yeah, our experience with the franchises is, is that each of the franchisees, yeah, you know, they get the back office support, but they make the decision as to what trust tool they're on, what inspection tool they're on. They're completely different. Is that uh, right? Yes. Now, now, there will be some exceptions to that, but typically that's what we're finding. So that makes it – so it is a really fragmented market. I mean, let's take Ray White. I mean, top of my head, you go Ray White. Yeah, they wouldn't have, you know, they'd have 5% of the market each. Yeah, but within their franchise, they're all, you know, 48, in Ray White's case, 40 agencies within WA, each running their own, making their own decisions about their trust tools. So, yeah, corporates do try and influence, and they're an important stakeholder, but you've got to understand the dynamic there. And so, yeah, our approach, which you'll see over time, is we get social credibility with some of the leading aid leading officers within a franchise demonstrate the benefit and hopefully they'll start preaching and converting people over whilst at the same time letting head officers know this is what we're doing you know we'd love to support you you know we'd love to help the friend you know we're available but we know we've got to get that social group first um, and, and then you've got that, some, the, sorry to interrupt you but what's yeah. the the main I, I guess upside in using Percy is they're going to save time and money is that correct that's right some time and money and better experience for you know, the owners and the tenants. So they will deliver a better service. Um, you know, again, we've talked about this. Yeah, you know, we're integrated to a panoramic camera. That allows property managers to construct in their own time, you know, in five minutes, 10 minutes, construct a virtual tour of the property. And they can share that with the owners who might be in Singapore or Hong Kong or the UK. And they can see what condition their property. They don't have to look at a property inspection report that's got 50 pages of reconstructing the walls and having a look at a few dirty drains. They and it, can yeah. walk through and look at the roof, look at, and they can see the garden. They can see how the grass is going. So it's a much better experience for the owners. So we think over time, look, some of our, I would say 10 to 15% of our paying customers will aren't using the camera and they don't need to. They've got the mobile phone as well. But, you know, we, we sort of would like them to use the camera because that's when you're really leveraging the power of our tool. But the other you know, 80%, 85% are using 
using uh, the panoramic camera. And they're starting to share that with their owners. And the owners are giving them very real feedback. And we, there will come a time, and it's not tomorrow, where the owners say, you know what, I've seen this, you know, this sort of quality report I get where I can walk through. I've got a new property in, in Brisbane. Exactly. That was, do you, yeah. offer this, do you offer this? Uh, you don't? I wonder who does. You know, and they'll go somewhere else. So we think there will be a fear of missing out. Now, we're not there yet. We've got a long way to go, obviously. Okay. But that's where we want to be. Yeah, and that's, that's where it will become powerful. The, the analogy I, I, I paint, Kerry, is, is electric cars. Not many people have got electric cars at the moment. We all know in our heart of hearts, in 15, 20 years' time, everyone's going to be driving an electric car. When is that tipping point? It's hard to say, but the tipping point will come. And it's yeah. the same with our approach to property inspections. So the investment thesis. For my gang out there in uh, small cap land mm. that are looking at this and thinking, uh, so they're going to go in, they're going to have a look, and they're going to go, oh, the share price hasn't done very much. What do you, where do you think the, um, I guess, the possible resets are or what's the opportunity for people to get involved now? Do you think because you're at the start that this is a good time for people to get involved? So you want to know why, why should they be looking at it? So yeah, why? I think why there's, a couple, there's, a, there's a couple of reasons. Yeah. Firstly, we provide a non-discretionary service to the property industry. Yeah, the property industry is massive. We've talked about yeah, there's always going to be a requirement for rentals. It's always going to be legislated. It's always going to be compliance issues. So we provide that essential service. Secondly, we've got a clear growth runway in the short term, the medium term, and long term. So short term, we're moving over east. Medium term, we're looking at other ways to leverage this inspection capability. It could be the self-managed sector. It could be building inspections. Um, it could be overseas. Um, you know, obviously, New Zealand is obvious, but our competitors are in South Africa, they're in the UK, they're in Canada, and they've demonstrated that you know, Australian know-how can get there and we believe we can do the same. And, of course, in the longer term, there's a bit of a technology play. So, you know, this is a really important channel of the property market and investors. We think that we can get a very big share of that and then we can provide other services such as updates on the condition of your property. So there's a lot of long-term play in the data. Um, but the final point is, you know, we're clear value proposition. So what do we mean by that? Well, you know, if you look at where our share price is, clearly there's a lot of leverage up to the upside. Um, and, you know, when you're in the small space where we are, and I'm not an investment advisor, I'm not advising you. Exactly. Do your own research, uh, ladies and gentlemen. Do your own research, <laughs> D-Y-O-R. Um, but you look at that risk-reward equation and it's quite interesting. So you're just getting started. WA, you've got a couple in Victoria. It's been an absolute pleasure to understand not just Acidal as the company, but Percy as the product and where you're going from here. I wish you all the best with it. And perhaps as you expand out, uh, you know, once that iron curtain in the West uh, lifts, <laughs> you, can, you can come over east. Come I'd back like and give us an update as you yeah, of course. move it out into the rest of Australia because uh, for our investor audience, it would be really interesting to see how the growth story. Great. Thanks, Good on you, Jeff. Thanks so Good much luck. for chatting to me on Small Caps today. Bye-bye.